the fluff fairy is gonna come through for you i promise you <laughs> hello everyone welcome back to my youtube channel if you are new thank you thank you thank you for subscribing if you aren't new you already know i'm gonna thank you for continuing to watch your girl like for real y'all i'm feeling this new haircut like it's it's the haircut vibes for me like y'all i felt like I needed something new and fresh and it took me a lot to even cut my hair like my hair was my life but I felt like I just needed to cut off the weight, the ends, the relationships, the friendships, all of that and just become a new me so that's what I'm working on but anyways in this video, I'm going to give you guys a part one and a part two on what to expect between weeks one and week 10. I am 10 weeks post out today. And I'm super excited that I've made it to this point. I didn't think I was going to get here, but your girl made it. She made it. So I'm just going to give you guys a rundown on what you can expect. This video will be weeks one through five, and then I do week six through ten in part two. So what you would expect in week one is you're going, your body has went through a traumatic change. So your body has to learn to adjust to that change as well as you have to learn to adjust to that change. So with that being said, week one is going to be your worst week. I'm just letting you know. I'm just letting you know because you have to try to train your body to not sit down, to be on your knees. It's going to be the most uncomfortable feeling you've ever felt in your life especially if you've never had that type of surgery um because even when I had my boobs done it wasn't this bad like it wasn't the only thing I couldn't do was lift my arms and lay on my back but with this is definitely a difference um it is a big 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 difference so just in week one learn to take your time Realize you're going to need a lot of help. You can do everything by yourself. Make sure you have a great support system because you're going to need someone to help you um, go to the bathroom, make, need help getting out of the bed because you're going to use a lot of upper body strength. So just make sure that you're trying to walk every 15 minutes. Because when you do that, you're strengthening your body at the time it needs it the most. And so you're going to need to walk. Like walk every 15 minutes, even when you're sleeping at night. Try to get up every two hours and just walk, 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 walk. The first week you're not going to get any sleep. Um, but just make sure that you walk because that's going to make your healing process a lot faster and you're going to be able to be independent even more faster in week two i was doing everything by myself i didn't need any help from anybody um i basically was doing everything by myself because i walked and walked and walked so just please make sure that you try to get that walk in because you're going to need it definitely doing week two is when you basically your body has adjusted a little bit to the change um so you're going to be walking around a little bit more um you're still going to be stiff you're really going to be stiff so please make sure that you're still taking your medicine if your body is still in that painful stage um some people still are taking the um hydrocodone that your doctor give you and some people don't like i didn't in week two because it was just making me sleepy so i just continued to walk 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 um just to get the stiffness out of my body and in week two is the week that your skin is gonna retract um what i did to make my skin retract more 
was to use the tape method which I spoke of in my last video um so you definitely can go watch that to get more information on that but in week two is the week that your body's trying to get back to the way that it used to be um if you didn't have an appetite usually people don't have an appetite in week one so in week two is when you're most likely gaining your appetite and things back to where you're eating again normally and drinking again normally um just make sure you eat stuff that isn't high in fat uh sodium definitely don't eat anything that's high in sodium only because it's going to make your body swell very very bad so just try to start off eating something healthy like chicken noodle soup or um grilled foods just something to get your body you know build up to where you're able to eat the way that you want to eat week three you are still want to be sore um but you're starting to get the hang of things um you may not need help getting up in this week um you're going to be moving around a little bit more than you usually would um your body is still going to be sore this week you're just going to be able to do a little bit more week two and week three wasn't really a big big difference um but the soreness kind of go away each week so you're getting more and more less tender even though you're still tender this week may be the week where you just feel the most swollen um because your body is in the stage of healing so just make sure that you are continuing to stay compressed um, with your faha and your boards and your phones just so that your body can try to adjust to the changes the correct way you don't want your body to not get the compression it needs because then it's not going to heal the proper way so just make sure that you continue to wear your faha because you're going to wear your faha up for the next six months in week four this is the week that i started to see a change in my body as far as my butt because my doctor um my daughter is dr kagan and he, um he's a doctor at joey plastic surgery he did give me a shelf but because that's what i wanted um he's a type of doctor that specializes in projection so if you go to him that's just what you're gonna get and that week i thought that i was losing my butt i was like oh no i just thought like my butt because i was like my butt was sitting so high to the point where I have a back tattoo. You know, they call it the tramp stamp. Anyways, I got that tattoo on my back and I couldn't see it. That's how much of a shelf I had. It's like my tattoo was sitting here on my butt. So I couldn't see it. And I was like, now that, now I can see the tattoo. So I'm like, have my butt gone away? Like, no, I paid so much money for my butt blah 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 so i i make sure that you take pictures every week so you'll be able to know what type of progress you are making and i'm so glad that i began to take pictures at week one because then you will know if your body is changing or not or what changes you'll see in your body so when i did that i'm actually going to post that here and you're going to see that my butt just dropped and it actually spread it so in week four is when your skin on your butt starts to soften it starts to stretch and once it does that that's when the um the fat that they took in your stomach and put in your butt begins to settle in the places that it's supposed to be so my butt actually dropped and it spread and it actually gave me even more projection and i was like okay i was so excited like oh my gosh my butt has really grown like my butt was settled my butt was still hard though it wasn't as hard because my butt felt like a brick and i was like what is going on but as my doctor felt my butt to capacity so that's why my butt was so freaking hard but in this week, week four, I could actually feel like the skin on my butt was starting to stretch. 
and the fat in my butt was actually starting to form so i was like yes yes that's the week that you're going to start seeing a change so don't think that you're losing your butt just know that your butt is starting to settle and give it time for the fat in your butt to settle so please so when they say your butt is gonna fluff your butt is gonna fluff the fluff fairy is going to come through for you. I promise you. Just give it some time. Please be patient. I know we'd be in such a rush to see the change, but your body, my body is still changing each and every week. And just know that I'm not going to see my final stage of progress or my final stage of what my body is going to look like in six months to a year out. So just look at the changes in your body each week. Um, just know that your results that you have right now is not your final results. So please do not get discouraged because you really have a long way to go. And last but not least, in week five, I was actually eating and eating and eating. And I'm like, what is going on? Why am I eating so much? Like... I was eating so much food. I don't know what was going on. My appetite changed dramatically. Like in and out every two hours, I was hungry. I was eating breakfast, I was eating lunch, I was eating dinner, snacks in between. And I usually only eat like once or twice a day. So I'm like, and during that time, I gained two inches in my butt. So I'm like, ooh, I gained two inches in my butt. My butt was a 46 and a half, and I got to a 48 and a half. But although I gained weight in my butt, I gained weight in my face, I gained weight in my arms, and I gained weight in my thighs. So I was like, oh, no. Mm -mm. No, 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 no. No, no, no. So, yeah, I was like, something ought to change, like, because I don't want to start looking like a eh, crazy person. But yeah, this is what I went through in week one through five. I'm going to come back for a part two so that you guys can know as well what to expect in week six through ten. Make sure that you subscribe. Hit the notification bell to be notified whenever I post another video. I want to thank you guys again for watching and I will be back for another video.